Hello, George here. And in this video, we're gonna take a quick moment to set up our security cameras that we'd already created and place them around our temporary uh, level layout. So at the moment, I have no reason to not use this layout ever again. I mean, small things might change, but I really wanna get the cameras in there just to be able to move between them and get a sense if some of my scales are proper. Some of the only reference I have is from inside each room. And while I can tweak the camera's location, this is the best time for me to take a moment before I get really into creating these rooms and uh, just make sure everything's proper. So you'll notice that everything's mirrored um, from to the other side. And actually I can go in here now and nuke all those old cubes that I had. And what is this? Oh, that's the, the, that's the door. Oh, that's the other security door. Okay, not important. We'll get rid of that uh, in the Maya side. But uh, let's go ahead and since everything's mirrored, all I really need to do is rotate a lot of these things around to the other side. So I believe uh, these ones, that is the cameras right next to the security door, kind of look to the sides of the security door, right? So let's go back in here real quick. Uh, where's the security cameras? The one's right outside. So this camera, camera 4B, is looking into a corner. And I always assume that the security door, I actually don't know what the hell's going on here. So 4B is looking into a corner, which makes me think it's right outside the security room door and it's looking into that corner. That, does that sound right? Yeah, I guess so. And I guess the security door is just off, kind of, you know, up over on the right lower side. But then where the heck is the exit to this place? That's what I don't understand is how the hell do you get out of this place? Let's put it up against the side of the door looking down. So we'll grab this camera then, and that means I'm in the wrong place. And we'll move that one there. We'll grab this camera and move it there, or actually maybe there, maybe looking up across from the security camera location. With a game like this, you really don't need to know all these things. You didn't necessarily need to sit down and try to make sure everything makes sense. And who knows, maybe it does make all you know sense. I just can't figure it out for from the reference material I've got working with me. Move this up. And uh, we're going to now have this look down to the corner. Once again, just using the W, E, and R key to make my life a lot easier. And, you know, it's kind, it is kind of... Ooh, that's not right. Am, am I in world chords or am I in local chords? Let's go to local now. And let's rotate this way. Just take a look. It is looking into that corner. And there's a lot of floor. You can see a tremendous amount of floor. So let's do something like this then, I guess. We'll do the same over here with this one. Rotate this one down and then just sort of use the world coordinates now to make sure we can see enough. All right, we'll go with it, I suppose. Pretty close to the same view on either side. Of course, we have the interior security camera, which we're going to uh, set to, what, 180? So it's looking directly forward. Let's save the scene and let's start grabbing the other cameras. So this camera is going to be somewhere, let's see. This is this is why I should have kept the, the darn reference floor in here, which I, oh, floor plan. I do have a floor plan, but it has no associated texture, it looks like. Uh, if we want to, we can bring it in. You Should we? Uh, create folder. Textures. And go in here, import to asset. Uh, FNAF, and let's see, what I call it? Um, where did I put it? That's star.png. Really? Where did I put it? Photoshop? Floor plan, there we go. This is JPEG, whoops. And let's grab a floor then and give it its own material if it doesn't already have one. So let's go to floor plan. Uh, we'll just create the material in here for now. Let's go to material. Floor plan. Uh, drag that into its albedo. Drag that onto there. And perfect. So now we can at least get a sense of what's going on here. I guess that didn't really help me out after all, all that much, because I can't see through anything. I could always raise it above. And let's just check the reference material. So camera 2B, I believe both of these are looking down the hallway. And it looks like it's kind of off to one of the sides. What about camera 2A? Yeah, I'm going to assume both of them are straddling the sides. So we're going to go to this guy, move him like right there, perhaps and maybe there rotate rotate please grab both raise them up and how much ceiling do we get to see 
we do get some ceiling right there. It is slightly rotated downward, I think. So let's just lightly pivot these. Uh, let's go to local and lightly pivot each one locally. There we are. Oh well, it's a good start. They are going to rotate, I believe, as well. So is there a lot of the side wall you see? I mean, you do see some of it, but I think it might even be too close to the wall. We'll push it out. Go to global. Push both out. Okay. Uh, next up is the room over there. So let's move this into here. And I think this one's kind of in this corner or so, looking over all the supplies that are along the wall. At least that's what I'm going to go for. Raise it up. But you can't see the door. I'm almost positive you cannot see the door from the supply closet. Right? Here's the supply closet. The door might be over here on this uh, right side. So maybe, but you know, it's so noisy. And it's really focusing in on the supply closet itself. So let's make sure that's kind of the main thing. And I think it's even higher up. I mean, it's really up there. And actually, or the angle's much more severe, probably. Like that. Let's go with it. And actually, you know, close enough for now. We'll, we'll finesse later on when we have everything proper. Mm -hmm.